G'day everyone, uh, this is the new project for this week. Um, I'm filming it a little bit backwards, so we started the job yesterday, but um, yeah, forgot to film. So yeah, we're up on a 50 acre hobby cattle farm in um, Yellingbo. It's at the top of a hill um, and there's 360 degree views. It's a pretty uh, spectacular place. I'll flip you around. So yeah, all the rolling hills in the, in the distance there. Some steers, I think six steers in there that they're going to try and sell. So basically, um, these cattle yards are what are the problem. So that's the driveway there, and the ramps face into the property, which means the truck, when it um, comes to pick up the cattle, it has to drive into the holding paddock and then reverse up. And so it got bogged last time it was here, and the driver's refusing to come back until um, they get a, a road put in. So it's about 100 square meters. We did a scrape yesterday, put down uh, about 20 cubic meters of 40 mil um, aggregate. So it hasn't got fines in it, so the water will flush away from the, the surface straight away, which is good. Um, the truck won't have any dramas with that. And then today, uh, I've just whipper snipped around the fencing in the yards, um, knock it all down a bit, and then I'll scrape out probably 50 to 100 mil of dirt. Uh, you can see how muddy it's been with the cattle uh, prints in there and um, the client was basically her gum boots and stuff were take, coming off when she was working the cattle so um, we'll scrape that out put 100 to 150 mil of rock in there too and then a, a pretty decent layer of mulch um, to make it a bit nicer on the animals through here so uh, yeah I'll, I've got plenty of time lapses from yesterday and I'll um, I'll film some more time lapses today and we'll get it all wrapped up by the weekend. So follow along.
aggregate after we scraped all the inside of the yard so here it is now we've uh, spread about 100 to 150 mil thick everywhere just as a sub base to help the water drain away uh, the water didn't seem to be wanting to return to the water table very quickly so it means this holding yard is uh, pretty soggy it gets pretty soft uh, so we've just put a base down and now we've got a truckload uh, nine cubic meters of um, Some pretty coarse mulch and That's just gonna get spread all throughout here including the crush in there uh, and It's just gonna make it a bit nicer for the cattle to walk on Get the water away from the surface so that uh, the clients gum boots aren't coming off while, while she's working the animals Uh, mulch on top of our aggregate in the cattle yards here so uh, here we are spread it all around it's pretty coarse stuff some of the pieces of you know 50 75 mil thick um, but we want it pretty coarse so it doesn't just compost down um, so quickly so I'll uh, I'll put in a clip after this one of uh, a bit of a drainage test I'll hook up a hose to a tap that's just outside side the yards here and uh, show the water filtering through and, and just disappearing. So it'll take a pretty uh, hefty downpour to turn this into a bog. I'll um, show you around briefly. So there's the crush and the ramp out to the driveway. So the driver in the cattle truck has to drive up the driveway come through here through the gates nose in up there and then reverse up to the up to the yards so there's a couple of pens and uh this is what we're finished with all good stuff so that's this project wrapped up the clients are stoked uh, they're telling me that there's going to be more work coming my way in the future. Thanks to Jason O'Donnell from Little River Homes for uh, referring uh, me on to the clients for this one. So pass on my number and um, yeah, always appreciate it. Thanks guys. <laughs>